Bro, just when I set my camera up, my eyes just start to tear up. Okay, anyways, when I was a degenerate, <laughs> playing video games four hours a day, editing videos, staying up to like three in the morning on school nights, sleeping in class, drinking five Cokes a day, sugar only diet. That was a joke, but it might as well have been. I hated myself and I would fantasize about dying. Not really killing myself a little bit, but mainly the fact that I would see car crashes, I would see people getting cancer, and I would be jealous. And I would hate going outside, and when I went outside, this is excluding school, I would be wearing a hoodie. Because I felt protected in a way, I just didn't want to be seen. Now I'm going to say something that a lot of people would disagree with. But as someone who has been suicidal, depressed, socially anxious, the lot, I don't think depression is actually real. It's not the problem. You see, me hating myself and me being socially anxious and wanting to die, not wanting to live, was not the problem. That was merely just the symptom of the true problem. And in this, I guess you could say guide, I'll show you what is actually the real problem because it's not just your mental health. You wanna know the real problem? It's that you're not living a life to your authentic self. Now that's easy to say, but let me dumb it down a little bit. You have no direction. If you're watching this guide because you want to improve your mental health, because you hate yourself, because you're socially anxious, because you're depressed, you aren't living the way you want to live. You're depressed because your life is shit, not the other way around. Your life is not shit because you're depressed. Now let's say, okay, this is just completely theoretical. You died today and you went to heaven. Heaven exists in this world. But there were drugs there. There was cocaine, heroin, weed. The entire lot. You might as well do some. You're already dead. There's no consequences. It's not going to fuck up your body because you're in heaven forever now. People have this same sort of approach with their lives today. Here on earth. Because they look at weed, for example, or video games. I've got nothing else to do. Don't you see the similarities? I've got nothing else to do. It won't harm me. Just a little bit of weed. It's all because when you don't have this sense of direction, you are distracting yourself with pleasure. I see this a lot with people that actually go to college. They will go to college because it is four years more time to think. It is the sensible route. And they think adding to their CV more education will help a lot. And then they end up partying every weekend for four years. Because they have no direction. So this is a simple method that I guess you could say. That I've created for your mental health. In fact, you could use this for all areas of life. I made this in an old video that was an hour long. But this is targeted to your mental health. Focusing on that. But it includes all the other aspects. So the first part, you have your purpose. This is your reason of being. Why are you here today? Why did you get out of the bed this morning? Why did you drink water? Why didn't you just let yourself die other than impulses, etc.? But there's that. And then there's the physical health. This is your body. This is your ability to walk, your flexibility. And then there's your mental health, the theme of this video. Do you hate yourself or are you extremely grateful for everything that you have, even the slightest things? And then there's hormonal health, which is what you eat. This can cause you to be stressed out, bipolar, the whole lot. So if you neglect any four of those, just one, let's say it's your mental health. If you neglect your mental health, it will affect everything else. It will affect your purpose, your physical health and your hormonal health because they're all connected. Don't worry. There's plenty of practical steps to follow along. I'm just getting you to understand my Approach to health. Depression means feelings of despondency and dejection. Being sad over and over and over again. It's your main emotion. And then they have antidepressants. And the main side effect from antidepressants is erectile dysfunction. Who makes the Viagra pills? Of course, the same people who make the antidepressants. You can search this up, by the way. So I say, fuck this. We do this naturally. Why? Why not? 
First is purpose. Now, before you go like, I don't know my reason of life. What is life? <laughs> the definition of purpose is your reason of being. It doesn't have to be your lifelong goal. Although that is part of your purpose. It is the main thing of your purpose. You do not need to know that right now. What you need to know right now is simply your current mission. It can be as big or as small as you like. Whether it is being free within your body. Meaning becoming fully mentally present and in the moment focused. And also extremely flexible. You don't have back pain anymore. You aren't twitching with your hands or some shit. Or it can be financial freedom. There's heaps of different purpose layers, I guess you could say. Now back with the heaven analogy. Heaven, there was no consequences. But when you add purpose to this, you now have consequences. Okay, I can't build the body I want if I'm smoking weed every day because it turns me into a lazy fat piece of shit. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's all connected. The next is physical health. If you wanted to destroy your mental health right now, the easiest way you could do it is by never doing any exercise. Hell, never go outside. But you need to do some sort of exercise. This needs to be at least three times per week. If you're building the habit, then it can be two times a week. And then you increase that. Also, to eat healthy. Now, when I say eat healthy, I'm not saying you have to have supplements. You have to have organic vegetables and meat and everything from local farms instead of the supermarkets. No, this is simply just optimizing your diet a little bit. Make it easy. Eat less sugar. Eat a few more fruits a day. I bet you could. And then have presets of meals. Have like a meal in your mind that you know can cook whenever you want. For me, it would be six eggs, three pieces of toast or steak and potatoes or stir fry. I can cook those whatever time of day, whenever I want. And it avoids having to order Uber Eats and get takeaways and eat shit food and ruin your testosterone. So back with the exercise, you need it to be something that involves going outside at least once a week. So let's say you go to the gym, make a session where you are outside running or doing hill sprints just for one session a week, go outside. Okay, so now the third part is the point of this video, but it's mental health. So you have goals, you have something that you want to achieve, you have a purpose. And then you have an adequate exercise routine. Those two are the highest ROI activities for your mental health without even focusing on your mental health. ROI is like, ROI stands for return on investment. Meaning if I was to work out five hours a day, it wouldn't be as effective. I wouldn't get more bang for my buck instead of working two hours a day. Two hours is more effective because it's more efficient. You're probably a smart person, to be honest, if you have terrible mental health, because you are realistic. You're thinking logically. However, there's a few flaws to that. The first is that you need to learn to be grateful. Okay, so every single morning I wake up and I write down five things that I'm grateful for. Okay, yeah, sure. That does a bit. But we can go a step further with that. To anyone around you, fuck bro, it could even be me. You need to tell people that you're grateful for them and actually mean it. This isn't a must, but you will notice the difference in your mental health. Expressing gratitude and telling people that you actually appreciate them and what they do for you. Or just what they do in general. It doesn't even have to be for you. Like simply telling your mum you love her. And that you're grateful for how many years she put up with you. <laughs> Something like that, bro. I don't know. And then to delete social media. This is a big one, but... Okay, so you can increase how grateful you are, but that is capped if you are on social media every single day, because you can't help but compare yourself to the people that are, what, 0.01% in the world? Fitness models, millionaires, all of these people are on Instagram posting and you can't help but compare yourself to them. You are only seeing what they want you to see. Now also, meditation. Let's say you, <laughs> okay, so, I don't know if anyone's going to relate to this, but after I was playing video games, sometimes I would get like a headache 
not exactly a headache, but just like this buzzy feeling that I just couldn't concentrate. I sometimes got this after watching TikTok as well. Well, if you know what feeling I'm talking about, meditation literally 180s that feeling. It brings you to the moment and present and allows you to be focused. Now actually just do this with me. Close your eyes and breathe with me through your nose and out through your mouth or out through your nose. It doesn't actually matter. Three, two, one, inhale. Exhale. And try and focus on like the air coming in and out of your nose. Go again. Congrats. You just meditated for like 10 seconds. What this does is it brings you to the present. So if you find yourself becoming tired, then guess what? You can finally now listen to your body. Because we're sapping away our presence so much, we are only getting the basic urges. Like to shit and to eat and to drink water. Not to sleep or anything. Because we're trying to block off everything else. When you're simply drinking caffeine in the morning and you're on your phone, you won't realize that your body needs sleep. Pretty much, if you were in the moment 24-7 and your mind did not drift anywhere else, like you weren't thinking about another situation being stressed, it would be very hard to be depressed. That is just an analogy because you wouldn't be worrying about things. You would only be focused on what's in front of you and how to deal with this. Not that. Okay, so the next thing is journaling. This might sound stupid. Some people might even skip this part. But it's not dumb. And it's not something I do every single day saying, Dear Diary. <laughs> but it's just checking in with yourself. Asking yourself, okay, how am I feeling? Bro, my eyes are fucking dying with this shit. I'm turn down my... That made no effect. Okay, so then you just ask yourself, okay... How am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? And then you just write it out. If something is on your mind, on repeat, just constantly there, you're worried about something, you're overthinking about something, writing it down helps a lot. Personally, I do this about once a week just to keep my mental health intact and to keep track of things, but you can do this every single day. I used to do this every single day to get my mental health in check. <sighs> the last thing is getting outside more. Literally, get out of your room, bro, but... It's not natural to be inside all day, every day. Fuck yes. I'm an inside person. I love being inside. I hate going out sometimes, but I will still make effort to go for walks and hang out for people. Kind of. A little bit. Not really, but you need to get outside more. We need to get outside more. And the obvious things like don't be an asshole and have a normal sleep schedule. Like, go to bed between 7 p.m. and 11. I don't feel like that's a hard ask. Some people do their deep work blocks at like 2, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. I personally do 5 a.m. But this is adjustments that you can make. Imagine, imagine building a car from the ground up, but then you're trying to transmission it from auto to manual whilst you're building it. Or imagine trying to learn like a sport, let's say football, and then you're trying to learn some really advanced skill that takes years of playing to learn. Just lay down the foundation, get a normal sleep schedule, get your mental health right, and then you can start sleeping later. Only if it's productive. Don't fucking cope with this, bro. The last thing is hormonal health. Now, if there's any girls watching, I'm sorry, but I don't know shit about female anatomy. I just know a little bit about the human body through self-education and experience. And here's my knowledge on it with a little bit of research for this video. Hormonal health is simply just like messengers in your body that tell you certain things. Like, for example, our hunger, that's a hormone. The more we eat sugar, the more we feel hungry because we are spiking the hormone that makes us feel hungry. So the way you optimize your hormonal health is through healthy eating. Pretty simple. Avoid biscuits, avoid chips, avoid fucking gummy bears, avoid sugary foods, and especially energy drinks and Gatorade and shit. It's killing you. 
instead have meat, eggs, oats, wholemeal bread, fish. There's so many options that you can have. Okay, so there's also another thing called gut microbiome, where it's this thing in your stomach where you will only crave the things where you eat. You don't see the healthiest people in the world fighting the urge to get pizza hot. No. Because they're craving a big steak or they're craving some broccoli. Because that's what their body is used to digesting. So this takes about two weeks to shift over from completely unhealthy to healthy. Meaning instead of getting these cravings for fish and chips and McDonald's, you'll start craving eggs and smoothies. With all of these optimized, you'll never have to worry about mental health in your life again. Yes, shit happens in our lives, but with this guide, you won't have to worry about anything long term. That is a promise. So what can you do right now and as of today? Okay, so you meditated during this video if you followed along. You can journal later tonight before you go to sleep. You can get outside right now. As you're watching this, make an exercise routine and plan what it is. Otherwise, just say, make an exercise routine that's not enough. Be specific. And then figure out, okay, what is my reason of being? What can I do? What can I strive towards? What goals can I create? And be grateful. Express it to other people. I doubt you'll be able to overdo this. And also, of course, eat healthy. I have a Discord full of young men in the description. Just hit 100 members today. Don't do us easy, do us right. Peace.